Welcome to Caseware QuickVids. This QuickVid demonstrates the different areas you're able to sort throughout the financial statements in Caseware Financials. I will demonstrate sorting lines within tables, sorting specific statement headings, sorting entire statement areas, sorting different note levels, and sorting schedules. Let's begin by looking at sorting line items within a statement or note. In this demonstration, we will use the income statement. Note that this procedure works in all statement and note areas. After clicking on a description, in the Table Tools tab, click Sort Rows. You can choose four sorting options. Ascending will sort the line items A to Z. Descending will sort the line items Z to A. And manually opens the Manual Sort dialog, which allows you to sort the individual lines. I want my descriptions to be sorted from alphabetically so I will select Ascending. My descriptions were sorted. Note that Manual Sort can be accessed by right-clicking a cell and selecting Sort Rows. Notice the same options are shown. To sort numerically, click a numeric cell in the section you want to sort. Again, in the Tables Tools tab, click Sort. Once again, you are able to select Ascending, Descending, and Manually. I will select Descending. Notice the section has been sorted numerically. Line items will only sort within the section selected. For example, the operating expense section is sorted separately from the other income and expense section. You can also sort the line items located in the headings in the statement areas. On the Home tab, under Sort, click Headings. In the dialog, select the statement areas where headings are to be sorted. In this example, I will select Income Statement and Statement of Financial Position. I will move my client name below the Income Statement heading by clicking the Move Down button and click OK. Notice my statement headings appear as expected. To sort entire statement areas within the Financial Statements, on the Home tab under Sort, click Areas. The Sort dialog displays all areas of the statements that can be sorted. Using the Move Up button, I'm moving my income statement to appear before the statement by directors. When you sort the statements, the table of contents automatically updates to reflect the new order. In addition to sorting the whole statement, subsections can also be sorted including schedules, notes, graphs, the cash flow, and reporting by directors. Let's take a look at sorting the cash flow. You are able to sort the order of the financing, investing, and other sections. I will move my financing activities up one level and click OK. You can now see that the financing section is ordered before investing. Sorting notes can be done at a macro or micro level. The Sorting Notes button in the Home ribbon sorts the notes at a macro level, while right-clicking on a note heading provides the ability to sort at a macro or micro level. Let's take a look at sorting all the notes. In the Home tab, under Sort, clicking Notes launches the Sort dialog. Using the Move Up and Move Down buttons, I will move my Cash In Cash Equivalents note below Property, Plant and Equipment and click OK. As promised, the Cash note is now below the Property, Plant and Equipment note. The related note numbers have been automatically updated and any references in the statements to these two notes have also updated. Now, let's sort the notes at a micro level. Using the cash note again, we can sort the note component within the cash note. In this example, we want the table to appear before the text, no restrictions on cash. Right-click on the main cash and cash equivalence heading. Select Configure, then Sort Notes under Cash and Cash Equivalent. You will see two options here. Sort Current Level acts just like the Notes button in the Home ribbon. Sort level below will enable us to sort the A and B components of the cash note. The sort dialog opens and displays the note components within the cash and cash equivalent note. I'm going to use the move up button to move the table up and click OK. My notes were sorted as expected and the related note numbers automatically updated. Jumping to the schedule section, we have a schedule of revenue and a schedule of expenses. We can sort the order of these two schedules. 
In the Home tab, under Sort, click Schedules. Using the Manual Sort dialog, I can easily move my schedule of revenues to be before the schedule of expenses. All schedules in the financial statements appear as a single schedules entry in the table of contents. You can separate schedules into their own table of contents entry and sort them into the statements. For more information, see the QuickVid Moving Schedules. Caseware Financial's extensive sorting capabilities for many areas of the financial statements will enhance your ability to format statements to meet your specific requirements. This concludes the quick vid on sorting. For additional resources, including documentation and online help, see the related links. Thank you for watching Caseware QuickVids.